ਹੈ ਜੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਇਹ ਪਿਰਾਸ ਗਿਆ ਜੀ ਕਿਜੇ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਕਿਤੇ ਮੋਟ ਨਾਲ ਪਾਲ ਨਵਾਂ ਨੇ ਤਾਂ Μετά που ανέφτυγε να σήμερα, κάθε μέρα είμαι εκεί μέσα. Πάω, τρώω, πίνω μαζί τους, εμφύλοι μου, εγχωργάνοι μου. Ως το 1974 πιστεύω, μία λοπόνα τρέβησε στην Τούρκη. Ήμουν και μέσα τους. Αλλά μετά το 1974, Έλληνες, Κύπροι Έλληνες τρέβησε στην Πούνο. Εγώ πιστεύω να μην κρύφαμε πίσω τους αχτήλες μας, ούλοι Κύπροι. Να πούμε όλα τα αλήθεια, να είναι Τούρκος, να είναι Χριστιανός. Έτσι πιστεύω. Φίλε μου, ναι. αυτά τα θέματα θα τα πω που την, που την σωστή την σκοπιά. Σωστή. Να τα πω εγώ, διότι ναι. εσύ δεν τα, εσύ είσαι μικρός, πιο ε, μικρός δεκαευτε, από μένα. Δεκαευτέρον ναι. όμως. Ε, εγώ ε, ήμουν είκοσι, μάνα μου. Ήμουν δαμέο, το αρέφη που επέξα. Εγώ ήμουν, ήμουν, στα, μάνα μου, εγώ ήμουν, ήμουν στα γεγονότα, ήμουν είκοσι εγώ χρονό, ναι. εσύ δεκαέξι χρονό. Ναι. Άρα, να με πιστώσεις ότι εγώ τα ξέρω καλύτερα. Διότι την εποχή είναι εκείνες ημέρες, μιλούμε το 1963. Ήταν ένα χάος η Κύπρος. Ευρίσκαν τον Έλληνα κάπου, εσκοτώναν τον οι Τούρκοι. Ευρίσκαν οι Έλληνες των Τούρκων στους δρόμους, εσκοτώναν του. Ήταν ένα χάος. Για τον Αρίφιν, το περβολή του ήταν απέναντι από την αστυνομία. Οι δικέ μα όμω οι πληροφορίε δεν ήταν ότι βγήκαν να μαζεψέγγες. Οι δικέ μα οι πληροφορίε ήταν ότι βγήκαν να κόψει το σύρμα του τηλεφώνου που επικοινωνούσε με την αστυνομία. Περίμενε, μη γελάς, να σου τα πω. Γελώ ρε, Ανδρέα, γιατί είναι σωστά. Μάγι, δεν τα ξέρεις, μάνα μου, εσύ. Δεν τα ξέρω. Μπεν, μερδιβένες σου ντέιτιμ, τάβι. Εν τίμτε αυσιαία, τα δόντυμ γιουκαρία δόρο. Πολίς στασιόντα δόρο. Βέλε, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, αυσιαία, ε, dolanırlar. Merak ettim nedir, ne oluyor diye. Tabii hiçbir şeyden daha haberim yok. Ve Rumca olarak dedim ki be, benim tanımadınız mı beni? Korktum daha ileri gitmek istemedim. Olduğum yerde geri döndüm. Geri döndüm ve süratle ağaçların altına doğru koşmaya başladım. O anda arkamdan ateş etmeye başladı. Το συμβάν γίνον έγινε όταν ο Αρήφης, ο οποίος ήταν και μέσα στην οργάνωση του και άμα τον αρωτήσεις ήταν να σου το πει. Επίεν, η δική μας η πλευρά επήραν το ότι επίεν να κόψει πας στο στήλο. Ο στήλος ήταν μέσα στο χωράφι του. Πιθανόν, όπως είπε ο Αρήφης, να εξέβη πας στο στήλο να δει μέσα στην αστυνομία. Δεν εξέβη πας στο αυτό έπαιξαν το. Με μου πεις, Αντρέα. Έτρεξε ρε Σαρήφη, έφυγε που έφυγε που έφυγε μέσα στο... Ο περβόλιν του Τζεπιέν, επιέν και ακόσα με τραπίσω. Μίλα αλήθεια, είπα σου και τώρα πεις πάλι μου. Ο αστυνομικός που τον έπαιξε να φωνάξε του Άρτ. Σταμάτα. Ο Σαλίγης γύρισε μου την άλλη πάντα να πάει στη μάνα του και έφαντε σου πέθηκε. Μάνα του, αερφήν του, για γιατί του ήταν μαζί μας. Τελείωσε. People actually somehow feel constrained to describe incidents of political violence in the past in their village. There is this bias if you like. In, in both communities, in how they remember uh, the past. It's difficult to get a, a sense of uh, objective scientific understanding of what actually happened in the village uh, because there are issues of collective memory that come and somehow influence their accounts of what actually happened. But still, I think if you identify the two opposing trends, maybe you get a sense of the middle ground. <laughs> είχε στο στόχαστρο την Ένωση, όπως και αυτοί είχαν την ταξίμια ολού έλεγαν. Όπως και αυτοί έλεγαν το ταξίμια ολού. Για ταξίμια ολού. Ναι. ναι. Και εμείς ελαρούσαμε Ένωση. Ένωση. Αυτοί, ναι, ο νους μας, άρα ο νους μας είναι ο ίδιος με, το, με εσάς. Με πέρυσι το όλο αδάπη, το κουτό του δαλτάντο. Αν μου σου έκανε τα αραμούντα, έχει πιο όλο αδάπη, πιο κουτό Bir ev Türk, bir ev Rum, bir ev Türk, bir ev Rum böyleydi. Bazı eski evlerde aynen yıldız vardı kapılarda, vardı da gene. Bilmiyorum, karışırdık. Paskal, Paskal ya da biz onların davarlarını beklerdik. Bayramda onlar bizim davarlarımızı beklerdi bu şekilde. Karışık. 
Us demezdi gelsin çoban adı. İlle bu köyde çobancılık hmm. olmazmış. Zereperestor oynanan toprakları karışıymış buranın. Da yeri yokmuş. Ben gideceğim dedim. Evim yerim yok dedim. Kolay evet. değil. Yerden yere gezdik. Kolay mı oğlum? Bir kaçtık perestoranlardan gittik falan. Bir kaçtık ondan geldik buraya. Ama gelmeyle ev ekmek vermeyeceğiz sana. Bir eve oturdum da. Biz kendimiz kaçtık. Köylü kaçtı hep. İşte Gecemiz çıkamazdık hiç sokağa. Onlar gezerlerdi diye. Ma, aramızda bir şey çıkmadı yani. 11 sene Angolem'de oturdu. Aramızda hiçbir şey... 74'te geldik buraya. Angolem'e de gittiğimizde biz o son, sonra biraz normallaştık. Evet, yine giderdik yerimizde eker bükerdik. Yine kaçmayacaktı tamam. Bu defa Rumlar yine geldi bizi bastı. Evet. Angolem'de. Evet. 11 sene sonra... E doğruyu söyle. Evet. 11 sene sonra tekrar geldiler işte 74'te. Bastı hem bizi. Bu defa geldik işte Türkiye'ye. Bu tarafta bizi de geldik buralara. Doğruyu bu. Ne bu kere diysem ben doğru edin. Dini merancı bir yere filisen de moradu. Allah da ne girisi. Yora pende. Ekse girisen de aeroplan asto me da dactilo. Ke yora eksi. Emilan do radiofono. Ke fonazen di siran do andramo. E ne pao le yama me kalu. E ke pria ki demokratia. Ancem boruse na men pa. Ezer kuna da tom gyazu. Όταν τελείωσαν η εισβολή, πράγματι δεν έγινε σε έναν τρασμό. Τα παιδιά μου και εγώ, η ζωή μου όλοι, ήταν να κρατώ μια φωτογραφία και να γυρίζω τις πρεσβείες, τα εξωτερικά, παντού, να βρω τον άντρα μου. Μέχρι μάγκους είχα πάω. Στα 26 χρόνια έμαθα ότι ήταν στην Λακατάμια θαμμένος, αλλά που ακριβώς όχι. Εμίλου με τους κυβερνήσεις τέλο πάντων, είχε μια κολλήση εργία την οποία δεν αντέξα μετά στις υποσχέσεις και ετόλμησα επειδή έπιασα τετσάπες μόνη μου να βρω τον άντρα μου εγώ. Μέχρι εκείνη τη στιγμή όλοι μου έλεγαν είναι αγνοούμενος. Όταν λέεις αγνοούμενος, αγνοούται η τύχη του. Μπορεί να είναι μέσα σε ένα, μια χώρα να χάζει και την άρτη. Μπορεί ας πούμε να είναι στα κατεχόμενα την άρτη. Μπορεί να τον έπιαζε ένα Τούρκο και να έρθει. Δεν είχα χάσει τον νου μου που ετσάπιζα, επίστευκα ότι είναι ναύρο ζωντανόν άνθρωπο. Όταν ξέραν ότι πέθανε, γιατί δεν μου τον έδωκαν να το θάψω τον άντρα μου αφού οι νεκροί δεν περπατούν. Ποιο του είχε φέρει. Μου έχουν στερήσει το δικαίωμα, ναι, η πολιτεία να ξαναφτιάξω τη ζωή μου. Yetmiş dörtte ben otuz iki, otuz üç yaşındaydım. Asker idiniz falan? Ya asker idim tabii. Ha, yani Mücahid köy, idim. E, köy içinde yoksa yok dışında? Ya köyde, köyümüzü savunurduk, beklerdik. Ha, ha köyünüzü savunurduk. Ey mutlu. E, bir de şey, esir kampı var idi köyün içinde. Yok, esir kampı yok. Yani ilkokulda bir şey var idi. İlkokul var idi. Ya yani işte ilkokulda yani Rum esirler onun içinde. Topladı. Yok yok yok yok. Urum murum yok. Herkes tarafındaydı. Ne aldılar ne esir var idi. Me dektilo sin disis voli se pare minan arkedi mesa sto horyo tu sopius senelavani sikolgani mas turkogipri ke us metefera sto turkigo dimotiko skolio. Εγώ συνελήφθηκα την τρίτη ημέρα, εκεί επεραμείναμε γύρω στις πέντε ημέρες και φωνάξα μας ετοιμαστείτε και θα πει να σας αφήσουμε ελεύθερος. Είπα στην πρώτα να περάσουν τα γυναικόπαιδα, πήγαμε σε ένα λεωφορείο και είπα στην μετά οι άντρες περιμένετε, σταθείτε γραμμή. Και ένας τουρκοκύπριος χωριανών μας ξεχώρισε οχτώ άτομα με το πρόσχημα ότι δεν μας φορεί το λεωφορείο και θα τους κάνουν κάτι ερωτήσεις και θα τους φέρουν μετά. Τον πατέρα μου αφήσαν τον στο χωριό, μέσα στους 8 και όλα τα γυναικόπαιδα, ξέρω εγώ και όσοι να, μεταφέρθηκα στη Λευκοσία. Μεταξύ αυτούς ήμουν και εγώ. Ε, τελικά αφήσατε... Ναι, σε δύο μέρες με αφήσαν ελεύθερο. Και τι έγινε με τους 8 που κρατήσαν Οι 8 εξακολουθούσαν να είναι αγνοούμενοι. Μέχρι πριν δύο χρόνια ακριβώ τώρα βρήκα έναν φίλο. Τουρκοκύπριον, ο οποίος είχαμε καλές σχέσεις, ανταλλάσσαμε τις επισκέψεις 
διασκεδάσεις και σιγά σιγά με εμπιστεύτηκε και μια ημέρα μου είπε αφού είσαι αδελφός μου να σου πω την αλήθεια ότι σε ένα συγκεκριμένο στριμμιόν έξω από το χωριό μας ότι δολοφονήσαν αυτούς τους οκτώ και βρίσκονταν στο συγκεκριμένο χώρο απέναντι από τις γνωστές καμάρες. Τόσα χρόνια πίστευες ότι μπορεί να υπήρχε πιθανότητα ο παπάς σας να, να είναι ζωντανός. Μέχρι σε ένα σημείο επίστευα το 1996 ε, γνώριζα ότι ήταν νεκρός. Πάλι από πληροφορία δική μου που εξασφάλισα το, ε, μια πληροφορία την οποία απέκρυψα στη μακαριστή τη μητέρα μου. Ε, δεν, το, δεν μπορούσα να τη πω τη μητέρα μου ότι ο πατέρα μου είναι σκοτωμένο μετά από τόσα χρόνια. Έχω ακούσει πάρα πολλέ περιπτώσει ότι Ελληνοκύπριοι δολοφόνησαν Τουρκοκύπριου και ότι οι Τουρκοκύπριοι δολοφόνησαν Ελληνοκύπριου. Εγώ επειδή ένιωσα αυτόν τον πόνο να χάσω τον δικό μου σε πόλεμο, καταλαβαίνω και τον πόνο των Τουρκοκύπριων. Έχω, και αυτοί έχουν ψυχή, αλλά αυτοί που τα κάμασαν. Δεν μπορώ να καταλάβω τι μυαλά είχα. Δυστυχώ αυτά όλα τα οποία δημιουργήσαν οι λίγοι υποφέραμε οι περισσότεροι. Και υποφέρουν ακόμα οι Κύπρο. Το όνομα που είμαι αφανιάλη, κάτι καλή. Δεν υπήρχε σε μυαλόν, κουζέι, γενέλτε, πιτούν τα μαμίνα, ρουμπελγεσί. Γενέι τεραφού, τουρκ μπελγεσί, μυαλ μπορεί να κάνει και βλέπει βάρδε. Έλυβε σε ατμοσφαίρα, σε ατμοσφαίρα, Eğokacılar 70-55'lerde falan şu Türk köylerini, Türkleri katardı. Yani bunlar çok, mesela Paşa köyünde, Paşa köyünde Türk yerleşim vardı. Onları Eğokacılar kattı, balı kesir. Benim bildiklerim bunlar. Ve daha birçok yerlerde Türkleri yok etmek için Eğoka çok uğraştı. Zeni struggle, in particular as a struggle like the Eğoka struggle which turned out in a failure which has never been publicly admitted of being a failure. By themselves. By themselves. By saying, because it did not achieve what it was, what it was aiming for, Union of Cyprus with Greece, it ended up with a constitutional order that was highly disadvantageous to the Greek separate majority of the population, which then slowly brings us maybe to 63, 64. So you have a struggle that turns out to be rather disastrous in its consequences, also disastrous in its side effects, which of course is not only the blame of Ioka. This is a complicated game in which Britain with divide and rule policies kicked in, in which the Turkish Cypriot community or their leaders play their own role. It gets very complicated and very messy with the right and the wrong guys. So it depends which aspect you want to stress. Basically, the establishment of the Oka triggered serious responses within the Turkish Cypriot community, Volkan being the most important of these. And by 57, you have the establishment of TMT with uh, the knowledge, at least, of the Turkish government. It was established with the stated goal of defending the Turkish Cypriots from uh, possible attacks from the Greek Cypriots, and with the ideology of uh, achieving taksim, or partition of the island. That was the ultimate goal. But just as there were people who maybe fought within Ioka for noble goals, or with noble motivations, freedom and uh, the like being their efforts. There were also people within TMT who did the same, but these organizations, I think, also were manipulated for other uh, purposes on both sides. People want uh, short, straightforward answers as to uh, who started it. Looking for who created the first incident that interrupted a long history of peaceful coexistence is simply something that's not possible to be found. Looking for the first instance of violence and who started it is really a moot point. For the sake of the argument, let's just accept that the first killing was made by a Turkish Cypriot, uh, killing a Greek Cypriot. From the Turkish Cypriot point of view, the Turkish Cypriots would have said, well, when the Greek Cypriots started demanding enosis, they didn't take us into consideration. So it was actually the Greek Cypriots who made us start thinking about living separately. But the point that I am trying to uh, raise here is how things were perceived differently from the two sides. The Greek Cypriots simply thought that we are uh, practicing our uh, just moral uh, right 
to decide for our national future. And actually the Turkish Cypriots were doing the same as well. O şey KBH'deki olay konuda bir şey bilir misiniz? Yok. O başka bir yerde oldu. Nerede olduysa bilmiyorum. Hiçbir bilgim yok. Nerede? Bilmem. O daha eskiden belki kimler Türkler Rumlar mı kavga ettiydi? Nerede? Açış yapmadı bu Rumlar abi. Benim bilgim yok. Holin kavga daramadı mı Türkler? Tremeşeller. Tremeşeller. Yani arkadaşın demesine göre başka köyden gelen insanlar kahvehaneyi geçerken kahvehaneye silah atmışlar. Öldüğümüzde biri ölmedi. Yaralandı, papaz. Yaralanma oldu. Yani ölüm yok. Daha sonra da bu şeyi yapmışlar bilmiyorum ya daha fazla bilgim yok. Ahla polisinde yolu kesti ve o adamı öldürdü. Oracık da öldürdü yok kendini. Neden Eokan'ın silahlarını çaldıydı? Bu adamlar da Rum kahvesine ateş açtı geçer kanal. Konuşacaksan tam konuş. E, hiç bilmem abi. E bak kamera da çeker. Da, da, Yerli. Tremeşe, Yerli. Tremeşe. Tremeşe. Tremeşe. Başka köyden geldiler. Geçerken ateş açmışlar kahveye. Popaz yaralandı. Bunun üzerine o ateş açanlar iki kişiydi. İki kardeş. İki kardeş idi. Polis aldı bunları Magosta polisine giderken Ahna bölgesinde Pusuya düşürdü kendilerine, ateş açtı. Arabanın içerisinde bir tanesi şehit oldu, bir tanesi de yaşadı. The ideology of Enosis, at least amongst the Greek Cypriot community, was an ideology for the end of colonial rule. And I see positive things because it was an ideology for liberation. End of colonial rule equals liberation. During the time of the Republic, the ideology of Enosis was an ideology for destruction of the Republic, for partition, you see. This is why uh, this ideology uh, plays a very different role once Cyprus has become independent. You have a complicated mix. You have a militarized island, you have militia going on, everybody preparing for a showdown. Both sides have not disarmed. After 1960, there's complete mistrust and different agendas. And so this conflict simmers on, while at the same time, Machaios increasingly clashes with the Greek junta, and the Enosis nationalists, led by Grivas, on the island organized around the Okavita. So you have the Greek Cypriots fighting within each other. You have an unresolved dispute between the Turkish Cypriots with Turkey backing up the Turkish Cypriots, so there's a potential structural danger there. And then you enter the crisis of 74, where the conflict between Makarios and the Junta and the Okavita culminates in a coup against Makarios, ousting him of power, which provides the pretext Turkey had also been waiting for and had been prevented in 64, 67 to invade and partition the island. So the winners are the partitioners. Siz uh, 74'tü hatırlarsınız değil mi? Yani savaş falan. 19 yaşındaydım ama hatırlarım. Hatırladığım kadarını söyleyeyim. Biraz, biraz açılabilirsiniz. Yani. Açılırım ya serbest korkum yok. Süper. Rumlar kendi kendine kavga ederken Türk köylerinde başladılar şey yapmaya. Bunun üzerine istihbarat aldığı bilgiye göre Türkiye ile irtibata geçip zamanın en büyük adamı Ecevit onun şeyiyle, emriyle bura asker çıkartma yaptı ki en doğru şeyi yaptı. For me the, the, the, the distortion in the official Turkish view is that Turkey intervened in order to prevent the Turkish Cypriots from being massacred. Implying no, that there were massacres for the... The, the argument tradition. there is different. The argument is that there would be massacre if the coup had been successful and there had been a... In Os in Os But I heard also the argument that they came to protect them from the massacres, which I always found a distortion of history. Υπήρχε μια κυρία Ευρώπη τη Βολή, έμειναν η Τουρκία από μια μπαντά, η δική μα από την άλλη μπαντά, αλλά δεν είχε η επαφή που υπήρχε ο Μπριτ να έρθουν να ψουνίσουν, η δική μα απογορεύονταν του Κούζου που υπήρχε να έρθουν να ψουνίσουν. Δεν του απολούσαν τίποτε πιο. Έγινε το πραξικόπημα. Α, έστω να έρθουν να ψουνίσουν όπω ψουνίζαν πρώτα, αφού τσίνα και καμπακάλικα. Επηρεαστεί από του ανθρώπου τη Βαβίδα που βγάλουν να σκοπιάνει τα μπακάλικα στο φούρνο. Στεκούντα λυσότητα, στεκούντα τα μπακάλικα να μην μπουν του κ η Αντρίτσα πάνε και χώραζαν τα τσιγάρα και βάλαν τους στα βάση των τοίχων και ερχούνταν οι Τούρκοι την νύχτα και πιάναν τα τσιγάρα να σε πουλούσαν. Ούτε τσιγάρα να τους σε πουλούσαν. Γι' αυτό έφεραν την ένταση με αξίδη. Γι' αυτό να έκαναν και οι Τούρκοι ότι έκαναν τους δικούς μας. Ωναρό ταρατά, πεις μου ταρατά, καέ τραάτεκ. Χουζουρ μουζου και λείπει και είναι πόσο ζακτάρ. Ε Eskiden olduğu gibi Türk'ün ekmeğini takılacak, para da vermeyecek. 
Bak şimdi ne güzel. O tarafta evinde oturur, biz bu tarafta. 30 seneden, 36 seneden sonra nereye gelecek? Yani Olur. biz anlaşmadan yana isterik anlaşma olsun ama öyle iç içe artık olmaz bundan sonra. An yeni lisi, tabas to horgyom, tre honda staba. Ego bas to horgyom mu dora, a felis pistepse, çen yoho de kabende krono, a timu me danya damu buimu, ya çestano me. Μπορεί να πικραίνομαι γιατί έχουν άλλοι στο σπίτι μου, αλλά στρέφουμε και λάλλω και γίνει έναν κορίτσι μικρό που κάθεται στο σπίτι της μάμας μου. Τι μου έκαμε και το μωρό 25 χρόνο. Ήταν αγέννητο. Πραξικοποιηματίες έκαμαν την Ένωση, μα τι Ένωση με την Τουρκία που την έκαμας. Πού είναι την Ελλάδα. Κάμαν, αφού σε μάγκες για μένα κάποτε λαλού έτσι και έτσι και... Αν είναι μάγκες ας πάνε να ζήσουν τι σημαίνει ο χέλος τους άνθρωπους που πας στο βουνό. Ο κόσμος είναι παρελθόν και που κάμαν τα κακά και φύγουν. Σε λίγα χρόνια φεύγουν όλοι του που συμμετείσχαμε στον τα έσχη. Τα σχολεία μας, η ιστορία μας να αλλάξει λίγο. Να μην λέμε ότι ο Τούρκος είναι ο εχθρός μας. Τι άλλα λένε οι Τουρκοκύπροι, οι Έλληνες είναι ο εχθρός μας. Πρέπει μέσω της παιδείας να μάθουν την ιστορία να μου συνέβη και δεν είναι ο διχασμός. Αλλά δεν πρέπει συνέχεια να σκορπούμε το μίσος εναντίον σε μια πάντα της άλλης. This was the, the, the official education we all received, and we know it by heart. But some pieces of the jigsaw puzzle doesn't really match, and some are missing. The, the story that that place was a paradise inhabited by Greeks, and all of a sudden, in 1974, the Turks came in and started killing, uh, ethnic cleansing, and raping, and uh, uh, taking people by force, which they did. But is that the real story of Cyprus? Can that explain to us, in a rational sense, satisfy our, our thirst for, for, for truth? At least until the age of 17, 18, when someone starts questioning things, and etc., made me and my brother start looking around for, for, for real information, not for just the main mainstream thing that used to come from the schools, from the newspapers and the politicians. Because it wouldn't really make sense to us that some crazy guys come and kill your father. The very essence of my emotions when I saw my father's uh, remains is that uh, there was this guy in bones only and a couple of uh, uh, holes in his skull who was my father and he was younger than me. There should be something else behind it. There should be something that led to these things, although that's not a justification for the wrongdoers. We're still very angry about the wrongdoers who dropped our family into despair and pain for all of these years. But I believe that my family uh, got a peace of mind after the, the exhumation and the identification of the remains and the funeral, even if it was delayed for 40 years. With a question mark, of course, that we don't know what happened to them and how and when and by whom, which is still an issue that we are after. We're really trying to promote the kind of historical curiosity that's been lacking. Uh, in Cyprus regarding the intercommunal relations but also the history of Cyprus itself. Uh, so what we want to uh, create is the opportunity to, uh, for people to ask new questions based on information that wasn't necessarily available, readily available before. Nobody knows what has happened exactly at, at that morning. But uh, what we have learned from the surviving people is that uh, some people from neighbor village came, called my family out, got into the buses, and taken uh, a few miles away from the village. My father, I mean, he, he couldn't find that courage to inform me that all your brothers, sisters, your mom, your grandma, I mean, I had I have about 30 people uh, that were related. I mean, in uh, relatives that I lost here in, in three villages. At the end of the day, the truth should come out. What happened? How it happened? Perhaps under which conditions it happened? Those who committed those crimes should be punished. My feeling at the at this point is that if the punishment or the, if the seeking of, of this punishment would be a hinder, hindrance 
and in our main aim of building the trust, forming the peace and reuniting this country, then I can give up of this punishment. It's very difficult for researchers to gather information about specific events. It's, it's difficult for them to, to gather information um, from the different kinds of sources available. The archive isn't trying to break up any particular narratives. In other words, it's not, the archive isn't aimed at, uh, at even breaking down dominant discourses on both sides of the island. What it's aimed at is allowing us to contextualize those, those narratives in different ways to give us a, a broader picture of what's happened that won't be that won't be uh, divisive in the way and perpetuate conflict in the way that um, until now histories of, in Cyprus have. Sometimes when I teach, one of the things I do when I discuss with Greek Cypriot students of mine is that I show them images uh, from Cyprus and I tell them what are they showing these images, and uh, they show people in tents and they show people who have been killed and they show women in black weeping and when I ask them what do these images show all of them say oh they show the Greek Cypriot refugees the Greek Cypriots who are missing uh, the mothers of the missing and I tell them, well actually they are not they're actually Turkish Cypriots so it's Turkish Cypriot refugees etc etc and that immediately makes them understand that something is wrong and that uh, the two sides may have shared the same experience Yet each side is unaware of this. Wherever you have ethnic conflict, you have what is called egoism of victimization. This is group loyalty. It holds you together. It's part of your, it's the core myth that you are the victim. And even your own atrocities are excused by the crimes and atrocities of the other. It's a human reflex. That's, I think, a global phenomenon with, with, with variations. But if you read literature about ethnic conflict, that pops up all the time. Each side is screaming. It's not trying to talk to the other side. It uses an iconography of pain. And it's a scream of pain and despair because they feel that the other side does not acknowledge their pain, but also because they want to be heard louder by third parties. They want to kind of drown out the voice of the other. They want to say, we suffered more. And this actually uh, also holds true for what is happening inside each side. Because again, there was in, intra-ethnic violence, violence between people of the same community that has not been acknowledged. This is again what creates these deeply polarized historical viewpoints and makes it impossible to create a more meaningful dialogue. We have all these kind of silences and loud voices in the recent history of Cyprus and I suppose it's very painful and nobody has a perfect plan of how to discuss about this. But because we're the second generation, if we don't start talking, our children will never discuss this history. Living in a post-conflict society means that every side is trying to legitimize their own political views and aims through an unofficial narrative, let's say. And this official narrative is, uh, there is an effort to be transmitted through the educational systems. So if this is the effort, then what is the role of a teacher who is caught up uh, in this situation? On the one hand, there is the pressure let's say, from uh, the official side to deliver something that is written as the truth in a textbook. And then you know that this can be actually incompatible with teaching up to the standards that you are aware of and believe in. Tarih öğretimi ve resmi öğretimle ilgili muhakkak ki bizim vizyonumuzla bizi yönetenlerin vizyonu arasında ciddi fark vardır. Bizi yönetenler ayrılığı ön plana çıkarttığından dolayı Eğitim sisteminde ayrılıkçı unsurların, nationalist unsurların ve şövalyonist unsurların olmasını istiyorlar. Aksi takdirde kendisi ortadan kalkacak, kendisine destek veren kesim olmayacak. Benim için değil, muhakkak bana zor gelir ama genç nesillerine de bu gibi gerici, beyni kayıcı anlayışların, yanlışların e, öğretilmesi, onların hayat boyunca e, bir Rum'u bir düşman olarak görmesi, nefret etmesi, Είναι αρκετά τραγικό καθημερινά να έρχεσαι στο σχολείο και να αποτελεί σύνορο της ίδια σου της πατρίδας. Στον πάνω όροφο του σχολείου ήδη υπάρχουν οχυρωματικά έργα και μπορεί κανείς να δει κατάλοιπα ακόμα και από τις πολεμίστρες στη δυτική πλευρά του σχολείου ε, είναι Ηνωμένα Έθνη και απέναντι βλέπουμε και τον Τούρκο κατακτήτη, του στρατιώτες. 
Είναι πάρα πολλοί παράγοντε που επηρεάζουν το έργο μα. Έρχονται τα παιδιά ήδη δυστυχώ φορτωμένα από την οικογένεια του, από την κοινωνία, από το ευρύτερο περιβάλλον μέσα στο οποίο ζουν, ήδη με κατευθυνόμενη σκέψη. Και εμεί ακριβώ αυτό που προσπαθούμε να του πείσουμε είναι να αφήσουν τον εαυτό του να σκεφτεί ελεύθερα και μετά να κάνουν ήδη τις δικές τους επιλογές. Το θέμα δεν είναι να δούμε ποιος έχει φταίξει περισσότερο ή λιγότερο. Αλλά πώς μπορώ να πω σε έναν παιδί που είναι εγγονός ενός παππού αγνοούμεν. Ξέχασε. Τώρα πια προχωρούμε μπροστά. Ναι, μην είσαι φανατισμένος. Θέλουμε την επανένωση της πατρίδας μας. Αλλά λίμωνο δεν πρέπει να γνωρίσει το πατρικό σπίτι της μάνας ή του πατέρα. Δεν πρέπει να... Είναι, είναι τα σπίτια μας τα οποία είναι κατακτημένα. Αυτό, αυτό είναι μια πραγματικότητα. Δεν πρέπει να την παραγράψουμε, αλλά μέσα σε ένα άλλο πνεύμα, με μια άλλη προσέγγιση. Γιατί έδωσαν το αίμα, τη ζωή τους, τα νιάτα τους, για ό,τι πολυτιμότερο υπάρχει, τη λευτεριά. Και σήμερα η πατρίδα μας εμάσει στα ζιέμα, γιατί όλους αυτούς τους προδώσαμε, εμείς, και το όνειρό τους το πνίξαμε μέσα σε ίντρικες και διχόνιες, ώστε σήμερα να μην μπορούμε ταυτόχρονα να γιορτάζουμε στον Απόστολο Ανδρέα και στη Μόρφου και να τους λέμε ναι, εσείς, Καήκατε στο μαχερά, όμως εμείς γίναμε καλύτεροι από σας και κρατήσαμε σαν φυλακτό τη λευτεριά. Δυστυχώς τη μαγαρίσαμε και την προδώσαμε. Some say invasion for 1974. Of course they have the right to say it because they feel like this. Some says, okay, it was a peace operation because you were saved or whatever, but they are sincere in expressing this. The problem is the dominant group try to say that there is only one eternal absolute truth and this is this narrative or account and you should all accept this version of it and there is nothing else. If you think of knowledge as something there, as something static, not um uh, adherent to change then you cannot accept change our aim as an association is not to try to impose a different narrative but just to help people engage in dialogue so they can respect the differences and discuss and debate and be more sensitive to the perspective of the other this is this is a great luxury not everybody can afford it in cyprus be in the same room with other educators and exchange points of view this is this is unique The United Nations has been here in Cyprus since 1964, so we're approaching the 47th uh, anniversary, in fact. It's actually the third longest standing mission, second to our peacekeeping operation in the Middle East, in that in Kashmir. So we've been here for quite a long time. Now our chief task is to monitor the stability and the status quo in the buffer zone. Where we're standing now, along this street here, this was once a bustling uh, city in Nicosia where Greek separates and Turkish separates mixed. Now it's quite empty. It's remained that way since 1974 when the actual buffer zone was delineated. Since then, things have become more or less frozen in time as you'll see around. These are once shops which had uh, lots of business. Now it's empty. The buffer zone is a very complicated place in which to keep the peace because there was never any ceasefire agreement as such, just a cessation of hostilities. This is one of the only places in the world where there are two opposing forces opposite each other that don't have any contact at all. We're in one of the most evocative parts of the buffer zone here. This is the old international airport. Since 1974 it has been in a time warp. Nothing here has changed. So it really is a reflection of the fact that the situation here in Cyprus is an anachronism 
And as far as the opposing forces are concerned, the buffer zone is a no man's land between two ceasefire lines. So any initiative that takes place in the buffer zone is, by its nature, going to be complicated. After 1964, it essentially became the demilitarized zone, but it's actually very militarized to the sense that you don't realize that there are lines that you're crossing that belong to one military force or another. We're taking a piece of this territory that's become very politicized and very militarized and defined by security and control and reclaiming it for civic use. It's something that has been an idea generated by a really truly independent grassroots initiative that's come and transformed a building like this into a home for cooperation. What we are trying to do is to establish a space where people can bring their questions and uh, try to find answers in a more comprehensive way. We are not imposing any answer to anybody, but we are creating a space for dialogue. We are creating a space where resources from various uh, sources will be gathered. The fact that the archive is in the buffer zone in the home of cooperation uh, is on neutral grounds, which makes it accessible to both sides, both Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots. So there is no political connotation to actually going there and doing research. It is uh, simply a way of accessing information and nothing more than that. I think we're making more inroads into helping these official histories decay. We haven't made them collapse. Uh, and you can't expect us to <laughs> make them collapse overnight either. But more historians uh, interested in Cyprus are working uh, to break down brick by brick, if necessary, the prevailing abuse of history on the island. And the Home for Cooperation, uh, again, we can't expect miracles from uh, a Home for Cooperation, but it's a space that can contribute to the work of people who are interested in uh, searching for a more objective, a more objective historical truth. Bir tanem son mektubunda başımsız diyor. Yüreğim sersem diyorsun. Seni asarlarsa, seni kaybedersem diyorsun. Yaşayamam. Yaşarsın karıcığım. Atıram deli bir rüzgar gibi dağılır havada. Yaşarsın kalbimin kızıl saçlı bacısı. Çünkü 20. yüzyıllarda ancak bir yıl sürer ölüm acısı. Stay.